The other version of this wonderful container that we have is a little more graphic uh, in the style of design. We've used beautiful stems of red ranunculus. And what we've done, we've sort of did a framing technique. And the framing technique is these five pieces of pussy willow. Um, we've actually created the insertions and stuff to the left and the right side of the design and let the ranunculus come from the top up and they have been done in such a way that they will hold up and stand up and it makes a focal part. Framing actually focals, brings a focal point to the product that's in the side and it makes your eye look between the two frames that are here, a left and a right. Now, in a lot of cases, sometimes we'll use a framing technique to bring interest to the bottom of the design as well. So in this case, we've actually taken a succulent similar to what we did earlier where we've taken the succulent and we've taken it out of the pot, out of the growing soil, we've cut the stem off again and we've inserted it with a wooden pick. And this could be also something that you could also use as a selling technique for your designs as well. Um, this could be something that the client could take home and bring back and put in their own garden or this could be something you could just rent them and you could pick it up at the end of the night as well. So there's a lot of variations to make this work. So we're going to push, press this back, insert into the front, so it's a focal point. So you can see this is bringing at your eye to look at this beautiful color of these red anemones, but then again, it also shows a little bit of texture by the actual succulent at the base. And to bring a little more to it, we're also going to add a few stems of beautiful, these orange parrot tulips. They're quite wonderful. They're in season now variations and stuff of different colors of parrots and stuff are usually found mostly in the early parts of the winter months, January, February, March. When it starts getting warmer, varieties and stuff will sort of dissipate a little bit, but they are available. So we're going to also bring a little bit of character to this design by adding these little tulips outside the frame because we want them to be able to add a little texture to design lower to the base. Now, we all know that tulips are, you are one of those plants that grow with the light and follow the light. And so we want to make sure we place them in such a way that if they start to grow, they're not going to necessarily ruin the style of the design. As this free form kind of shows with a combination of the ruscus that we use at the bottom, it opens it up to be a little more easy to be able to do the insertions. And you can see on this particular idea, we're adding just a few pieces further down in the front just to bring the color a little bit more. The green was beautiful down in the bottom of the succulent and a little bit of the ruscus, but we want to bring a little color down in here, so we're going to add a few pieces of color in the bottom of this. We have a little moss in the way, so I'm doing a little insertion that's going to bring it down. And then one more, and I think we are good. Now, one other little characteristic that I want to be able to work with you on is how to add a little bit extra attention to something is braiding. And braiding can be done very, very easily with a lot of different textures of materials, whether it's ribbon or it's grass or it's other foliages and things that can be braided. So we're going to use a few pieces of this beautiful uh, lily grass that we're going to actually just take the bottom down a little bit on the bottom and we're using about five stems, five stems of lily grass and what we're starting with we're making sure that all five are the same length so we put the points together and then we trim off any excess that we have in the bottom so they're all the same. And then we're going to take the tape, some regular green floral tape that we all have very much, and we're going to add, tape these down so we actually can braid the grass. And we're just going to go one across the other, and then we're just going to take a little bit of tape, okay? and then we're going to take this piece, the end, Take another piece of tape, okay. so you have a little bit of a braid, and to make this 
insertion easier. We're just going to trim the points so you can actually insert it into the foam. Bring this across the front. Bring it down. And what we're going to do, we're going to take this little succulent. We're going to pull him back up a little bit. And add that as another element. We've taken the framing technique of the Pussy Willow and brought your attention to the colorful red all the way to the beautiful orangey parrot tulips, to the green succulent and the weaved lily grass.